One Owner Car Guy here, and what I got for you today is a really nice, beautiful 1990 Mercury Grand Marquis Colony Park. Now, I think it might have even been a Grand Marquis LS. I believe it actually is. Um, this thing is loaded to the hilt. It was built to the hilt. It's got it all. It's a one owner car, and it checks out up to 78,000 or something. I'm going to do a complete review of the car here, show you just absolutely anything about it. As you can see, the wood's got a little wear on it, um, as that vinyl gets. I'm actually in the screen, I can't tell if you can see it yet. But all the trim, just absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go around the car and show you. Now, I get things sometimes that people are like, that car is not absolutely beautiful. That's got wear right there. Well, yeah, but you're at the year mark where it's got normal wear that's happened from just being out and manufacture wear I guess you'd almost call it stuff that happens on all of them um, that's the kind of car that I like um, you can see there's a little bit of a break in the lens there well you know that stuff can be replaced in fact I think I've even got one no they're all Ford LTDs I don't think I got a Grand Marquis yes it is a LS by the way just figured that out well actually I figured it out a long time ago the LS came off there and yeah back window works all the important stuff um, but you get one that's just got hardly no stuff that's really really wrong with it and it's a perfect car to make perfect um, and just put a little bit into to have it be exactly what you want it to be man I get a lot of Clark Griswold and a lot of Vegas vacations and European vacation references and uh, Harry and the Hendersons and all kinds of them types of movies on my wagons. I do a lot of wagons. If you like wagons and you're looking for wagons and unique stuff, check out my other videos. I've got over seven, almost 700 of them on here. Uh, I keep forgetting because I got a 1200 in my little file there. A lot of them not produced yet. But this car is beautiful. I'm going to go around it now. I'm going to show you any damage on it that I can see. Any visible damage, anything that's wrong with it. I'm going to do a test drive in it, show you how she drives. Uh, show you up the interior up at the house here and just do it to it um, That's all I know. My name is Nathan 406. That's not all I know. I know a lot more 406-544-6919 You can reach me anytime www.oneownercarguy.com Okay, you know the other day I thought my hood ornament was broken. It's like damn it my hood ornament is broken I thought it was missing the... Did I need to make the sounds? Probably not. I didn't even make them that good. But, hey, I did. I thought it was missing the little corner boxes there on it. And, it's, and I realized this morning while I was driving it over here, huh, it's not an LTD. And they don't have it like that. It looks different. We'll start at the chip in the light here. Obvious. <laughs> this right here can easily be shined up a little bit, but it's a little dull right there. And you'll see a couple areas where it should be shined up, like you see watermarks. We didn't even mothers it. A little bit of wear on that kind of trim in the trim. Trim in the trim? But the trim's all in great shape. This piece here, just slightly flattened right there. He ran it into something. Um, ran it across something. Didn't dent the car. Oh boy, he was close. I think that's the biggest dent, ding, in the car. Kind of a double ding there. Tiny versus a bigger one. You see some wear on it going along this line. Now, the wood looks good down here. It really, really, really looks good on these surfaces until you get to areas that caught sun, direct sunlight. Um, a little bit of discoloration on your inside plastic there. And I'll show you that from a different light also. Some marks there on your chrome. You can hardly see them. Chrome surrounds and everything's in great shape. Roof's in great shape. Wood trim on it. Missing a screw on that one. You can see the holes are good there. Needs a screw. And right around the screw holes, these get this. And it's starting to get it on about three or four of them. Right there. That's the worst one. And it's not all leaky on the inside or nothing, so it's a good time to catch that. 
Whether it's been repainted or not, I don't know. There's a ding there. And there's a, some tiny runs right there. Oh, and that. I wanted to show you that. Well, that's the ones around this side. A few chips in the vinyl there, like I showed you. The pieces going down the tops of the fenders there are in great condition. You know, you get these one and two hundred cars, and you can just tell. Like the stuff I used to get when it was like six, seven, eight. We had a, a ten owner. And that was one that just put me over the edge. So I ain't getting this kind of crap no more. But it, <laughs> they don't have, they got mismatched tires and everything else. Let's say it's got a matched set of Michelins that this guy bought for it. It's starting to get a little dry rot in the treads just because of age. Um, wheel wells are in great condition. Wheels are in great shape. This wasn't even shined up, man. Look at that. And it's like a smear shine. Like, there's... It could easily be shined. This edge, I don't think you're going to shine. But a tiny bit of dry rot, like right there on the X. Let me show you under here one. Down here. I'm keeping it up close to the bumper to where we don't lose that little bit. No, we already lost it. It takes a second to low-level light adjust. There you go. Bam! Beautiful. I had a guy give me a hard time. Not to, I just had one give me a hard time yesterday. But I had a guy give me a hard time about three times. Three different people is what I'm saying. About what oil filter it has. And man, I don't change the oil on all of them. And I don't know if it's the best or not. But man, the guy changed it. And wherever he had it changed at, it, it's cool. That right there, that little piece around there needs replaced. Very easy piece to replace. Well, why don't you replace it, Nathan? Well, I'm the only person that can do that um, around here. See so, yeah, how that's nice, and this has some rock chips off of it. I would normally spray that piece um, with some rough, rust, rough, <laughs> with rough proofing, with some rust proofing um, black paint. Not all leaky mess or nothing. This is a clean car, and make it look nice. Let me show you. I actually did that on this piece right here. Let this low-level light adjustment adjust. There you go. You can see the frame piece there. I did this piece. I put some rust proofing black on it. Just looks absolutely fabulous. Fabulous. And um, I just don't usually do this to the whole car. In fact, I did it around the wheel well and then got lighter right here. And then you can see how it looks. It's like this where the paint is just chipped off. So I mean it comes from the factory painted. Might as well show you the floor pans while I'm under here. Everything's in great shape. Let me edge my way up to the tranny pan. I ruin at least two shirts a week. And then they become my work shirts. And so, essentially any clothing that I have is work shirts. Custom performance or something? Maybe I can read that later on. Come on, low level light adjustment. Here we go, that's about what we're gonna get. It's clean. And there's your back of your pan. And I'm sure you're gonna get a wet gasket or something somewhere. It's an old car. 23 years? My God. It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. And somebody's calling to buy it. You better call quick because this here car is gonna be bought before you can get a hold of me. Um, no, I doubt it. It's my office calling, actually. Uh, they always seem to call me when I start to do an ad. I don't know why. Or a video. I remember this while I was back there. Nathan, why don't you change them? It's just a couple bucks at the parts store. Yes, sir. You're right. But people I have will get it apart and not get it back together. I don't have people that can do that. I'm short-handed, and I don't have the time personally. Um, ooh. Nope, that's the wrong way. I was thinking you could turn it around because the back one looks so good. Um, clear coat. It's kind of... You see a fade line there? You see that right there? I hope so because I'm trying to show it. it. Looks good. It's presentable. You could, you'd never know. Nine out of ten people would never even know. Serious. Unless you get up and inspect it. 
still half of them probably never know but I want you to buy this I want you to know what you're getting understand what you're getting and etc etc nice chrome surround I'd probably take too much time doing this if anything but it's what I definitely want to do and be as upfront as I can you can obviously see that you know later on if you wanted you could replace the vinyl chrome's in great shape look at that I'm, I'm like shining as I go I'm serious I do not have so really if my people can't wipe a mirror down do I want them replacing bushings and no please get away from it I'll, I'll sell it like that there's somebody who's buying this that can replace that darn bushing and the headlights and I don't have to charge well here here's an you know if you watch my channel much you probably I do complain a little bit about it but this take a second to just scrape this flat and like put a little bit of silicone on it and put the and I've got the piece setting at my house. It's setting right there. A few scuffs right there. I just want to show you. Can't really see them unless you look at the right way. Don't have that. I might actually. I remember seeing something set in the shop. I'm going to say I don't have it though. Same thing here. This would come off beautifully. But I can't have them using the razor blades. So, <laughs> ah, I, I'm safe. I want everybody to be safe. Chip there. Uh, this piece here, a little like they get a little sandpaper and some Walmart Krylon rust proofing. That Krylon is good stuff, I'm here to tell you. I had a guy painted a car with it, and it looks damn good. Um, I, I was amazed, seriously. You'd never imagine. He's all, oh, it's all in where you do it. Okay, yeah, that's part of it. Do you use Krylon, man? Well, it's rust proofing. Okay. Well, that's it. That's your outside walk around around. We did a little walk around and then a big walk around. And I think I showed you everything. Now, oddly enough, on the roof, it isn't faded the same way. It actually held up really good. First, some of the stars here. It is a teeny bit. Going down the sides. Lights on the sides. Woo, buddy. A little bit of the same thing here. All your surround trim and everything. I think I've showed you about all of the surround trim too. Um, look at the plastic piece. Just beautiful. I didn't show you under the back. Ugh. Look at this. You might not be able to see it yet. Come on Nikon, let's go, let's go. Probably the second best camera I've had though. You hear me talking about low level adjustment. Come on, come on, come on and all this stuff. Well that's one thing that I have but most people don't go in and out of so many different things. You can see right down there how I did that. And I'm here to tell you, it looks good. I'm not hiding anything. There's not anything rusted out under this car. It's absolutely beautiful. And my Krylon looks absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to show you for comparison's sake, the side I didn't do looks like this. So it's not all rusted, man. It comes out smooth as can be. Once you paint it, you can't see it the same because of the uh, tailpipe and stuff there. But you will be able to up there. Another look at mine. And then at the underneath where you can see it. I got a guy pulled up here. He's a big trucker with his Explorer and he can't back up unless I move, I guess. Well, I can't do that right now. There we go. See that tag on there? brake lines are all clean and see that's another reason if you paint it well you're gonna end up getting the brake lines but oh man that will look not only look good but at the same time taking care of a possible problem in which I like to show gasket jizz that thing's been into at some point um, oh your exhaust looks good and everything well, that's a long time under it I'll tell you that hopefully my camera cooled off I start feeling it get hot in my hand see there you go I complain about it a little bit I'm not complaining I sit out here and I take pictures of this stuff. I try to run two videos back to back, and all this stuff, and then I run it out of 20 minutes and start over. So I'm out here for sometimes an hour to two hours, not including if I mess up and have to start over. So, I guess we'll go for the test drive and do the interior up at the house here now. Once again, Nathan, 406 544. 6919, you can reach me anytime. Had a guy tell me, get in the partner program. Had another guy tell me, man, you need to be a partner. 
man, you've got 3,000 subscribers. You should be a partner. I don't know if that's enough, man. All these other people have all kinds of buku subscribers. But not only that, they've got a video that's like viral or whatever, and they've got like half a million views to like 5, 6, 10, 50, 200 million views. Man, my stuff gets... I might have one that pops to six digits, but you know, 50,000, 80,000 videos is a huge one for me for a thing there. And I don't know if I can make it in it, but I'm going to look into it in the future. I've not got enough things to do around here www.oneownercarguide.com Picking your own thumbnail though. That's what, you know, they were mentioned on I think and God, that'd be cool. It's a straight car. Super, super straight. I've um, got the books and stuff over there. I'll show you the interior when we get up to the house. It's really hard to show interior in the um, sun up here. 78,289 there's a thing on AutoCheck where a few years ago they entered 86,000 something. And you can see that somebody transposed the number or whatever. I think transposed is how you say it. Say it. Now, you know, you get a one owner car, that's, you get a mini owner car, and things like this get lost somewhere for some reason and then you never got it. Well, here it is. An old boy kept it all this time, never lost it. It's just the way some people do things. Well, beautiful, warm California day like this. Long picture taking and videos and running around. Camera overheats, it's just the way it goes. You want to use a little funky camera, you could probably make it through sometimes, but I was just talking about that too. Great camera and I like how it takes pictures and video though. Well, I'm gonna start out the test drive again. You might not have even seen the first one. I kinda camera quit just a ways down the road before I could get back to where I was going. Got a few of these wagons, www.oneownercarguide.com. I'm going to go up close here and show you the rest of it. Um, this probably doesn't help me get thumbnails at all very well. <clears throat> Somebody up here, I heard a big crunch and crash with a motorhome. And I heard, whoa, the guy took off, man. You can see your door sitting there. I can grab it and straighten it out and put it back on, but then you think I hit it. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Did I show you this? I don't know where I'm going to end that other one and where this one will begin, so I'll show you now. No, you don't need to check your engine. I just need to start my car. Airbags. This thing has airbags. Like, seriously? Okay. Oh. The needle. I want to show you. I think that that's it. That little line you see because it, it's non-existent. You can't count and get it to where it's supposed to be. Maybe you should go lease a Hyundai though. Easy to fix, also. That's like a third of pedal, and it's up to 35 or so, like right now. 30, yeah, 35. I'm gonna slow down. It's got a good tread on the tires, but I think you got a little bit of a flat spot in one from sitting. I had to let off there, it's gonna kick down and whoa, when we started at 40, so. <laughs> you just ain't got room to open this thing up like you could. Big old 5 -0. I had a guy looking for something to pull something with the other day cheap. I got four of these. I was like, huh. I think two of them have hitches. The ultimate family van here. Somebody commented on one of my videos. The crossover of the 80s. Yeah, baby. There's two shifts for you right there. It upshifts, downshifts nicely. These are great, dependable, cheap to work on cars. I'm going to go up and show you the interior. Show you the horn works. Show you the options. Um, I could light them up there if I wanted in this bad boy. They parked especially for us to where we could get in here and show you the interior. 
It's just, it's better for the light adjustment, it seems. If I can get the whole thing in here. And such. Lights work on the inside, that's pretty cool. Maybe you can see that thread in here better. You see that? I think that was your pick and slip thing or whatever. Pick and slip, your selectors button. Okay, I don't want to drive you crazy with that. Did I show you this already? I don't know where I ended the other one. It's one thing you get with a 1 and 2 owner car usually. Got the console. This ain't getting used. I might have shown you that. I'm sorry if I did. Okay, here we go for options. Mirrors? Work great. Got lights up in here. I don't think that guy ever hardly opened those. They're tight as can be. Hey, that's on low. There's a high set. Hey, there I am. Clock works. Radio works. The um, antenna works. Glove box, great condition. Um, all your lights. Yeah, it's telling you you got your light on or what? Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, it's got the twilight. Sentinel, where it's the auto delay, which actually they're on now. Now they're off. Now they're on. Huh, auto delay. Oh, the rear window. I'll go ahead and leave that down for now. Headliner's in great shape. As you can see, this could be shined up a bit. We didn't even do nothing to it. Is that everything in the thing working? I don't know. AC blows cold, but not super cold. Uh, it blows cool. You see, you got lots of settings there for it. Date. Wow, really? Huh. It's not the right date, but... Oh, you can get it that way, too. Got the cool little thing. I couldn't take this out. Let me show you the carpet underneath it. It's in good condition. just had to leave it. Gives you a little bit. Look at that thing. It just slides so nicely. Got the owner's manual here for the Clarion. Something my flash just popped up. Ah, man, I've showed this a couple times. I'll tell you on a hot day, the guy's sweating, camera goes off because of the battery, goes off because of overheating, goes off because of this, goes off. Oh, goodness. Door panels are in great condition. Look at that. Locks work. Oh, the one lock that doesn't work is the back doesn't unlock like that. And and I've been trying to show more of everything to show people the seats work. People say that oh you don't say this or you don't show this. Well, my motto or whatever used to be, if it doesn't work, I disclose it. Um, and everyone wants to know, does this work? Does that work? Well, the whole point of me trying to do this is telling them what it works. Cruise control, whether it has certain things, but I lose track and trying to get this more thorough for everybody is my point. Seats are in great condition. I'll show you this one with the armrests down, and then I'll show you with the armrests up in a second. My camera's getting hot again, man. It's got plenty of battery now. Then you charge the battery and the battery's warm, so then it gets in the camera and warms the camera up faster. Couple stains on the carpet and stuff like you're seeing. I haven't done no big huge detail. Back seat's in great condition. I don't even know if the guy ever sat in it. It's got the third rosy back here and this thing. Yeah, it lays down. How do you do that? I don't know how you do that. You do it. Oh, it's over there, there's a button. 
mean, these are in great shape. The front, I showed you, you know, that's separated there. I don't know if a piece came out or what, but doors open and close. In fact, I just closed it too hard twice in a row because they close so nicely. A couple wear spots right there. And a fold over. Now, I can get this piece here replaced cheap. Um, both bottoms would cost you, oh God, I don't know, a couple hundred to three hundred. You could probably do the whole seats for 250 to, well, I don't know. I'd have to ask him. Oh, yeah. This one, the lock works, but only with the key. And by the way, well, we'll show you the window on the way out. How's that? Magic gate, do they call it? I don't know. Let's do this to this, though. And show you both ways. Should I lay that down? I don't know. Maybe I should. I'm going to roll this. Backing's a little loose as it gets, and you'll see some of it laying on stuff. My hands are always dirty working through this stuff. That's okay. Third row, buddy. Dad, can I ride in the back? You ain't kidding. Oh, yeah. And as these get, kind of sag just a little bit. You can readjust them, but for our purpose, we're going to give it a swift slammer. And you got this one here. Let's go this way. Plastic piece is in great shape. I'm going to actually fold this down before I get any farther. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's sweet. Am I supposed to pull this up first? Maybe I don't think so. Either way you look at it, there's your fold down. Great shape, that's all there is to it. Even got the wood in the back on the doors. Okay, let me get these down. I bet you somebody is reaching their tailgate and go, man, it's hard to get in here. Why don't they make these with the kind where you could just bring them out or something? I don't know. But both ways is a nice way on this. All right, let me put this back in here. Magic gate, is that what it's called? I think so. Talk about nothing while I'm putting my car back together here for you. There we go. So, great car. Not so hard to close on that one. Well, I killed it again. I think this is the last one here no matter what. Here's your door panel. It's in great shape. This here seat, same thing. Not tore through anywhere really, but rougher. Original books and stuff. Full on books like crazy. Hmm. Uh, carpets. You see the stain right there. Dash is in great shape. Not all cracked up or anything. Now don't get all cracked up about it. Oh, I was going to put these up. Here we can see, and the back, this is in great shape here. My name's Nathan, 406-544-6919. Reach me anytime. I don't know how the low-level light adjustment's going to do. The top piece here is hanging down a bit. It could be fixed a bit. Um, beautiful on under the hood. Beautiful. Nice and clean. Everything where it should be. Like I say, I don't know if I had it in that part or if it went dead, but 
air conditioning compressor spins free on both parts um, the belts off because it was squalling so I took it off um, cheap easy to work on great car and get this thing out here in the sun give you an outro a bye bye and such uh oh uh oh I have so many problems with my keys just lost a lens cover too Well, oneownercarguy.com Try not to back into anything here. This is a great car if you're looking for a Crown Vic, LTD, or a Mercury and Marquise Colony Park here wagon. Here you go. If you're looking for a Chevy Caprice or a, anything, oh, I should put it in all the way in the gear there. It does shift nice, by the way. Got all the options. Wheels look amazing. Well, I can't really think of anything I didn't show you. I tried to show you everything. Um, we took a couple stabs at it too, buddy. This camera overheating thing has been a problem for me today. If you'd like to call me, it's 406 544 6919. Call anytime. Um, import, export, I will export this car anywhere in the world. You name it, we'll send it there. Um, Netherlands and Bremerhaven. It's $12.95 to $16.95, I believe, on something this big. Um, and you're going to get towards the top of the range on that. Um, anywhere else, I'll send it anywhere. www.oneownercarguy.com Nathan, 406-544-6919. Call anytime can't think of anything else I didn't show you on this beautiful car and I'm gonna leave it at that I think and say bye bye before we overheat again um, inside outside underneath under the hood oh see I have to grab the keys just to show you this is it worth it well think about this it is if you're buying the car it's all there is to it I was going to show you the window rolling up, and I got to do it anyways, so why not show you? That's what you get here on these one and two owner cars. This is a one. Um, as you get all the options and stuff, is a lot smoother. People haven't beat on them, banged on them, and messed them up. They've maintained this car. They've taken care of it. There's a few things I've shown you on it you're going to have to address. You don't even have to address anything. You just drive it. But, I mean, the wood paneling, it'd be easy repair. Well, that's it. We're done this time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. And we'll talk to you later.